What is going on, beautiful humans? Today I'm going to be telling you about 10 fitness products you can get today for under $100. These are actual products that have a lot of benefit for their price. Sneak out some extra gains, improve some mobility and flexibility. It could be simple as something that you put on your body and it makes a 50% increase in your sleep quality. That's all going to be discussed today in no particular order. Number one is going to be resistance bands. They come in a bunch of different shapes, flavors, and sizes, but it really depends on how much load that you want to increase or decrease on exercising in the gym or if you're using them at home for body weight workout. I really love using them for warming up and muscle activation. You can do a lot with them. Increasing mobility in your shoulders, uh, in your hips, in your ankles. Super space efficient. You can travel with them, tuck them in a bag or a suitcase. They're super low impact compared to weights, which can carry over to reducing risk of injury. And every set of bands that you buy comes with like a few, so you can progressively overload. It's kind of like a minimum traveling gym, if you will. Number two is going to be foam roller. I love foam rollers. I'll put a free routine that I use every day with myself and my clients and it literally cancels out soreness. Help alleviating that stiffness and soreness that your muscles get as you train them. They kind of get tightened and twisted around those muscle spindles and that Golgi tendon gets really tight. And then as you are lengthening them and unbinding them through foam rolling, you know, 20 to 30 seconds per body part shown in the video below, it's free. Um, then you can actually reduce that soreness following the day or days after working out. Let's talk fitness trackers. Fitness trackers are really great for monitoring your activity from working out, hiking, walking. It's just really good to be able to track something and then over time how you can kind of make it harder. Well, you have to know what you've been doing and what the results are for you to try and make a change and then see the results of that change and see if it actually is a something I've changed that you wanna keep. A fitness tracker is an easy way to do that. If I am burning a certain amount of calories every day, I can see it on my watch, and as my body adjusts to that, I can increase that goal, and then I'm getting just a simple notification of like, hey, here's where I'm at, here's where I wanna be, I, did I hit it yet, or do I need to do more? If I got 13,000 steps the day before, hey, let me try and match that or beat that today. How will I know that? Fitness tracker. If you are investing time into working out and eating healthier, why would you not track it? Why would you not want that data in front of you? Next one is going to be a pull-up bar. It's like 20 bucks. You can throw it in your doorway. And even if you're not smashing pull-ups on it, I love it for bar hangs. Bar hangs really are great for a daily activity that you can do. It takes like literally 10 seconds. And if you just do that like five times a day, you will improve your shoulder mobility, decrease the back pain by letting your body kind of decompress, your spine decompress. You're going to feel that relief and pain in your hips and your lower back especially. It's gonna improve your posture by getting that decompression, allow your body to like realign itself. And just holding on to the bar, increasing that grip strength, that forearm activation. I think like one of the biggest things that kill older people is falling, resulting from lack of grip strength and coordination. So you can defeat that grip strength problem by just holding onto this bar for a couple seconds, a couple times a day. Next one, is going to be barefoot shoes. I have the Vivo Barefoots. They're a little over $100, but I really love the quality of the shoes and they have cheaper ones available if you're looking to get into it. Normal shoes, they're kind of like slanted, like running shoes, and they kind of put a lot of the pressure on the outside of your feet and it's cramping your toes together, as you'll see. By wearing the barefoot, it allows your toe box to kind of spread apart by promoting a natural foot movement while you're walking, actually getting all the toes and the arch of your foot involved and push, propelling you forward instead of just this little block cement that you're picking up and putting back down. Your foot, each toe, every fiber of your foot should be like allowing full movement to propel you forward, not just like picking up a cement block and moving it forward. That's actually causing a lot of pain and problems that go above your feet. You feel a lot more soreness for a few days because you're feeling muscles that haven't been used before. But over the long time, you get that more natural rhythm of when you are running or walking, and that is going to reduce that pain and tightness in your knees and hips and lower back just by wearing these shoes. They're lightweight, flexible, and now I wear them more than I wear any other shoe. Okay, this is super important, a morning drink. This might be the most cost-effective one. Just slept for six to eight hours, which means you had minimal water. How can we maximize the body first thing in the morning? So we're gonna do water, okay? Then we're gonna add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I use Baja Gold Sea Salt because it doesn't have any of those trace minerals or other additive things that we don't want in our body. But the salt is gonna help your body absorb that water quicker. You'll have an increased boost in energy. And then I add in creatine because it's a cognitive booster as well as protecting and promoting muscle growth. So those two small effective things for literally under like 30 cents a day, you can have increased hydration, increased energy, increased metabolism, and help heal and promote brain and muscle growth. 
all with one drink. I do this every morning. Apple cider vinegar, water, salt, creatine every day, and boom, health. This one thing will increase your sleep quality literally today by over 50%. If you snore, wake up multiple times during the night or have a trouble getting to sleep, this one nose strip by Breathe Right, I use them, they're the cheapest ones. Breathe Right at 30 cents a day, you can literally put a nose strip over your nose and it opens up that airflow. We wanna be breathing through your nose. Mouth breathing is literally an insult, don't be a mouth breather. So if you wanna be a nose breather, just putting this nose strip will increase the airflow through your nostrils by 30 to 40%. That increased airflow will actually allow you to get better restful nights of sleep by not causing you to wake up from snoring, causing you to get to sleep quicker by allowing your body to get into a rested state faster by having more oxygen. And nose breathing is just more optimal for your health. So if you're really trying to improve your sleep or improve exercise or improve trying to relax on a Spirit Airlines flight, Putting a nose strip on will do all of those things and you should be wearing one tonight. If you can improve your sleep quality by 50%, sleep quality plays into everything else. I mean, you're improving your metabolism, muscle recovery, brain health and, and brain focus and energy. Like it has so many impacts on your life, having good sleep. So if you can increase that effectiveness by putting a Band-Aid on your nose, do it today. Number eight is going to be a weighted vest. So you live in a flat place, but you love walking every day, like just adding a weighted vest to that routine increases the intensity without changing the incline or the speed that you're walking. And you can get the added benefit of improving muscle mass and strength in your legs by increasing the weight and load that is on them during that walk. You can progressive overload by increasing weight to that vest over time. You have increased intensity on anything you're doing. You improve strength and endurance. Super convenient because you can travel with them and it's just something that you can just throw on like a piece of clothing, heavier piece of clothing. If you really love cardio, like adding a weighted vest allows you to do the thing that you love with getting the benefits of being in a gym at the same time. It's really important and they're cheap. I mean, you can get a $20 weighted vest for $20 I'll put it down below. The one I have goes up to 40 pounds and it's like 50 bucks. So it, they're cost effective, they're comfortable, and they have really awesome benefits without changing too much in your routine. If you're a cardio person especially, get a weighted vest. Okay, the last product is going to be my own program, Functional Health Optimization Program, where I've taken my six years of experience doing personal training from Equinox, myself losing over 100 pounds, and my background being in divisional athletics, and I've developed this functional health program through personalized programs for hundreds of people on how to take them where they are to where they want to be and i've combined athletic functional training with bodybuilding strength program to optimize for time in the gym and the most benefit in those 45 to 60 minutes that you spend three days a week in the gym feel more mobile you get rid of pain and you improve on strength and muscle and everything that you need to live your best years for as many years recorded over 400 different specific exercises, layered them out over 12 weeks and three full body functional training workouts each week. And for each exercises, there's two backup exercises. There's an advanced, an intermediate, and a beginner for every single exercise and they all have videos. It's all broken down with the reps and notes on how to perform the exercise to the best along with a video for each specific one. Doesn't stop there, I've also provided calculators and nutrition uh, documents inside the program, grocery shopping list, a hydration protocol, so you understand how much water to drink depending on your body, and advanced recovery, so understanding heat and cold therapies, tools that I use for recovery, even down to breathwork techniques. If this video helped you at all, please subscribe and hit that like button. Peace.